Assalamu alaikum. It is day 17 of the fast during this holy month of Ramadan 2019 here in Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome to Iftar Insights, a digital series by Fuzz Events and Entertainment Limited in association with Impression Studio, where together we are roving across the Twin Isle Republic of Trinidad and Tobago to present and highlight to you the different traditions and customs as it surrounds the Iftar or the breaking of the fast at the different masjids, jamaats and by different Muslims across the country. Today we have a very unique feature that we wish to highlight in the form of corporate Iftar. What exactly is corporate iftar? Well, firstly, it's not a masjid that we're visiting. It is, in fact, a corporate entity. Today, we are on a journey to visit a radio station known as 103.1 FM, located in Barataria, where they are hosting their first iftar for their Muslim employees and friends and family of employees. But before we make the journey up to Barataria, we actually start our journey by reminiscing about the history that led to this event and the series of events that has now led to the staging of this first iftar that began back in 2012. In 2012, 103 FM, in keeping with their drive to continuously refresh their programming and ensure that it always remained relevant for the masses that they served as well as the various niche markets in which they operated, they saw the need at that time for Islamic content that would attract and continue to appeal to the growing Muslim audience uh, that flocked to the station for content and for great East Indian programming. As such, we began the process of brainstorming uh, all of the ideas that, that came to the table and we decided then and there that we would approach the Markaz al ihsan which is the center of refinement that is headed by none other than the honorable and esteemed Maulana Dr. Wafi Muhammad. Maulana, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I remembered making this drive from Long Circular Mall in St. James down to the Marcas here in Hermitage Village, San Fernando, um, quite so many years ago, close to yes. seven years ago, yes. um, to come and chat with you after speaking with you briefly on the phone and to basically lay out for you our intentions, what the station had in mind and what we hoped to achieve. Um, you immediately saw it then as an opportunity, as you had mentioned, um, to spread the word, to spread the dawah, and to, to teach people about Islam, whether they were Muslim or not. And as the saying goes, the rest is history. It has been close to seven years now that you have been on air at 103 FM presenting the program known as The Upright Way, which initially used to be heard on Fridays from 4 till 6 a.m. and thereafter can now be heard from 4 till 5 a.m. Additionally, you also present programs every single morning during the holy month of Ramadan from 4 till 5 a.m. as well, known as the Suhoor Hour on yes. 103. It has been quite a tremendous journey looking back over the last seven years. Is there anything you would do differently? Well, life is a journey, you know. And Islam teaches that there is only one straight way, the upright way. Mm. As a result, Anything that is involving presentation or interaction based on the principle that it will take you to the upright way mm. is very encouraging. And I find it very beautiful to be one responsible for participating in this venture. Mm to make it known to each and everyone and to remind ourselves as a matter of fact what the upright way is all about. Mm -hmm. One of the appeals I remembered and one of the major attractions for the station to approach the Markaz and you in particular was the fact that when we studied the content, the Islamic content that you were producing and presenting to the world, it was content that was designed for anybody regardless of your faith regardless of your belief it was content that was universal in its appeal however content that is derived from a sound islamic principles and this has been it was back then the major reason that the station decided to approach you specifically and it has paid great rewards and dividends since then the feedback from Muslims as well as non-Muslims alike who listen to the program 
has been absolutely phenomenal. Even the pundits who have followed you with the programming lineup after you are done at five o'clock when they follow suit, even those pundits when they're driving up to the station and even the pundits who work at different other times have commented on the content that you produce, on the programs that you produce, on its universal appeal and how sometimes they even use the material that you present, they, they hashtag or they reuse, rehash that material and present it on their programs as well. What is your major reason, Molana, for this universal style, this universal approach to your presentation of Islamic material? You see, in your approach of life, there is one basic issue and principle that must always be kept in mind as you go along the journey of life, if I should say. Mm -hmm. And that is, there is only one creator of the entire universe, the originator of the skies and the earth. Mm -hmm. And he has appointed us to represent him. As a result, no matter where you may be, no matter what kind of human being you may be, these principles remain binding on all of us. Mm -hmm. That is, we were created and sent here to represent God. Mm -hmm. How do we represent him? That is an issue. Now, the majority of people may not understand all these things. As a result, it is necessary to present to as a reminder or as information to everyone regarding their outlook of life with regards to what do they know about how they came in this universe, mm -hmm. how they started life, and what is expected of them. And that is the basis of the presentation over the period that I have been involved in disseminating, well, let me not call it Islamic knowledge, but let me call it the way of life. The, way the of upright life. way. What is the upright way? Mm -hmm. And I remember when I was making suggestions about topics, you told me at that time, mm -hmm. the upright way is the good way. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is also in keeping with your philosophies as they extend to the markas, um, which translates into the center of refinement. Not so? You see, because if I represent God here on the earth, what is expected of me? To behave like the devil? I mean, if I should put mm -hmm. it cruelly, mm -hmm. it is not expected. So there is only one way, the refined way. Mm -hmm. That is to manifest the attributes of God in your personality, physical as well as non-physical. What are the attributes? Love, patience, kindness, mm -hmm. mercy, forgiveness. In Islam, you have the 99 beautiful names. Mm -hmm. It is expected that every human being should try his best or her best to manifest, to culture and cultivate these attributes in their personal I mean, lives and to manifest them in their interaction with other human beings. Mm -hmm. And that is what we try to do all the time. I mean, so close to seven years ago, or maybe seven years ago roughly, I would have made this journey to come and chat with you then. And seven years later, I am now making this journey to chat with you in a different capacity and to inform you of the fact that the station is now comfortable enough um, in its footing with its programming and its programming lineup for members of the Muslim community uh, during the month of Ramadan and outside of Ramadan, that this year for the very first time, they felt that they still wanted to do more. They still wanted to extend uh, even further into the, into the reaches and, uh, and, and try to do even more for the Muslim community. So for the first time this year, they will be hosting their iftar. And they have invited, to keep it small for the first year, inshallah, uh, they have invited all Muslim members of staff, as well as all other members of staff, and all other members of staff are also invited to bring with them a Muslim family member or friend uh, as a guest. Mashallah, mashallah. This journey, Maulana, started seven years ago. When you look back on that, when you hear this news now, 
of the strides that the station is making and continues to make towards serving the Muslim population of the country via their programming and their outreach programs, etc. This journey started seven years ago, and that journey from seven years ago would have begun from even before that. You see, there is a basic principle in the Quran, which if anyone should uphold it, will get this kind of result. Woman ahsanu kaulam mimman da'a illallah. Those who refine their presentation when they are inviting to the way of God. And the next thing is good and evil comics. Wala tastawil hasanatu wala sayya. Now, what is the, my reason for telling you this? Allah says in the Quran, Eid fa billati he ahsan. Return what is most refined. Because if you do so, it is possible that your opposition can become your bosom friend. Refinement. Humility. These kinds of qualities. Not to retaliate with hate and revenge. And, oh, I'll fix him tomorrow. You see, tomorrow when I'll catch him, I'll deal with him. That is not Islam. Like I, I, I tell even some of my Muslim leaders, my friends, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, one of his greatest opposition was his uncle who was living next door. Abu Lahab, as a matter of fact, Allah revealed a chapter stating what kind of punishment Abu Lahab and his wife will get later on. Mm -hmm. But you never heard a single bad word coming from the Prophet about Abu Lahab. As a matter of fact, one day his wife did not throw filth and so on in the way when he was going to pray. So he said she had to be sick. And he went and visited her and she was really sick. And he prayed for her. So this is Islam. I mean, This is Islam. I mean. So as we go along the journey of life and we are having these beautiful experiences in 103 FM, I mean, I want to believe that I am trying my best to follow that way to make the message interesting informative and inviting so what of, what of your message now to the people who listen to you throughout the course of the year whether they're Muslim or not two things one is never ever forget you have only one life to live make the best use of it and Islam emphasizes management. How do you manage your time and your resources and your interaction and so on? Do it in such a way that you will get benefit and those with whom you interact will also benefit. Mm -hmm. And the next other scary thing is watch. If this bread comes out and it doesn't go back in, what happens? Always remember that life in this world is just for a time. All of a sudden, you will just be called upon and you will leave everything behind. So that the wise person will manage his time and assets in such a way that he will benefit in this world and he will send something for benefit in the next. Mm -hmm. Muslims pray, Oh Allah, give us what is best for us in this life as well as what is best for us in the next. But we have to work for it. And finally, Maulana, what message have you for the Muslims who are observing another day of fast during the month of Ramadan and for the Muslims, inshallah, who will, who will fast and endure the fast of Ramadan 2019 and thereafter your Eid message as well? Just remember one thing. The, one of the purposes of Ramadan is to help the people to establish restraint. Why restraint? Because Satan doesn't want you to go on the straight path. Mm -hmm. He wants to attract you outside here materially and otherwise to get you away from going back to God. Ramadan helps in this matter. Mm -hmm. And that is why fasting has been prescribed to all the people. God never changes his ways and he never changes his words. So fasting is an institution that was given to all the people. Those who uphold it properly and do it in the way that is expected will benefit. And if you don't, 
you will regret it. And that is important for us. And we should never ever forget this. The next thing is, fasting helps to control two things. The two basic dangers, and I'll be, this will be the, the theme of my Eid sermon. One, arrogance, and the other, ignorance. Mm -hmm. Arrogance, he has, Allah has made it so plain for us by quoting Pharaoh and his people. You see me, I, I am this and I am that. Anyone who begins to think about I is going down morally and spiritually. And ignorance, you are supposed to represent God. You're supposed to know all the rules and regulations for representation. And that is why he sent the book and he sent the messenger to help. We, uh, if we don't know, do, why, why you don't know? Because you select not to in, become enlightened by making the necessary effort mm -hmm. to learn. Alana, Jazakallah Khair for having us today. Jazakallah Khair for all of the work that you continue to do uh, on air, on different media, on social media, and here at the Markaz as well. Jazakallah Khair and may Allah reward you immensely for the knowledge that you continue to impart and to share uh, with all those who are willing to receive the information. And may your bounties be immense in this world, inshallah, and in the next. Ramadan Kareem and Eid Mubarak in advance for Allah. Assalamu alaikum. my brother. It's so nice to meet you. And I mean, mashallah, is a rehearsal of how much? Seven years ago? Seven years ago. <laughs> indeed, indeed. We invite you to stay with us. We are going to make the journey. Rohan and I, Team Impressions and Fuzzy Entertainment, we are going to make the journey now uh, and leave the Markaz here in Hermitage, where we will now head up the road to uh, 103 FM's new studio, relatively new studio, about two years, two years now. Uh, we've moved from Long Circular in St. James and are now located in Barataria. So we are heading up to the studio in Barataria, where we will join with Brother Tabshir Budu, as well as Imam Safras Ghani of the Jama Masjid, Queen's Street in Port of Spain and they will they will take us through uh, the paces and the formalities of 103 FM's first ever corporate iftar this year 2019 inshallah assalamu alaikum <laughs> Good evening, everyone. The 103 FM team would like to welcome our brothers and sisters in, in Islam, especially invited guests present, all our listeners, our viewers, and our followers on all our social media platforms. We are indeed very honored to be here today to add to our Ramadan month of programming our first iftar celebration and even more satisfying is to have it at our home here in Baratara. Please permit me to thank, at this stage, the work done and work that continues to be done by Fazir and Tab. They were very instrumental in making today the success that it is so far and it will continue to be. So in closing, I would just like to say um, Ramadan greetings and blessings to all our brothers and sisters in Islam from your station, your 103 FM, first finest forever.
الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر Assalamu alaikum, dear Iftar Inside viewers. Do hope that uh, you have enjoyed this evening's episode. A bit different, quite unique, I must say, where we were, you know, especially invited uh, to the home of 103FM, one of the very famous radio stations here in our country, uh, a station that has chosen this year to embrace the Muslim community. And I must say, as a fellow Muslim and Fazir, I'm sure would agree and attest to this, that it really feels especially important for us as Muslims to, you know, be embraced uh, by the non-Muslim part of our community and our country. And it shows that, you know, there is that extra uh, sense of gratitude and respect paid to us during this very holy and auspicious time for us. So once again, we thank our friends at 103FM for hosting this evening's presentation of Fuzzy Events and Impression Studios Iftar Insights Episode 17. Do hope you have enjoyed and look forward to more uh, Iftar Inside coverage right up to the very end of Ramadan where Fazir is going to be very busy uh, in chatting with him earlier. He's going to go to uh, Tobago uh, as far to the end of the tips of Trinidad as Cedrus and so on. So there are a lot of interesting episodes still to come your way or dear viewers. And do hope all in all that each and every one of you tuning in and checking us out uh, on the web that you do have a very successful uh, Ramadan and that of course it will bring you during this experience that you'll be having for the holy month uh, closer to your creator and for those of our friends on the outside looking in we do hope that our coverage fully enlightens and further expands your level of knowledge of what your Muslim community is all about in TNT. I mean well said Tabi, thank you very much Jazakallah khaira brother Tab. Um, this is also where um, Tab and I earlier were uh, comparing schedules and unfortunately this is where we will be um, you know uh, parting ways of sorts for the holy month of Ramadan this is our last encounter for the month of Ramadan um, from here onwards uh, we'll be going in separate geographic and other locations as well um, so Tabi thank you very much uh, for all of the insights that you have helped us to share uh, for all of your contributions to the Iftar Insight series and You're in particular welcome. as well for tonight. Thank you for inviting us to your home in St. James. Thank you for inviting us to your, your, your home by marriage uh, down yes, in, in, in South Orokucha yes. as well. And uh, we are fortunate enough this year to have been able to come to our collective home here at, uh, at 103 FM. place so, where we met. Yeah, so yes. it, it, is, it, is, it is a homecoming in, in every sense of the word. And yes. Allah khair. Uh, Allah is the best of planners indeed. Amen. Amen. Um, so we have come to the end of today's edition of Iftar Insights. You will be invited at some point in time over the course of your lifetime, inshallah, uh, to an iftar by an organization or an entity, whether, whether it is where you work, whether it is a government ministry, central government itself, uh, maybe a community group, a youth group, an action group, a watch group, an NGO, or something of the sort, even a, a temple or a church or any other religious organization that is attempting to reach out uh, to other members of the community, of other faiths, of other belief systems, etc. And I do hope that you, that you accept the invitation if it is possible. And uh, if you uh, don't already have commitments and you, 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 you return the olive branch, uh, inshallah, that, 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 that they are extending. As Muslims, we most definitely should. Yeah, inshallah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you return the olive branch that they have uh, extended, extended to you, inshallah. So, uh, Jazakallah khair. Thanks for tuning into episode 17 of Iftar Insights. Uh, inshallah, God willing, tomorrow we will be going to my home. We're talking about home. We're literally going to my home, Jamaat, this time around. Mm -hmm. Gasparilla. Uh, yes, that is the Beiru Street Astra Jamaat in Gasparilla. So I have 
quite a lot to share with you tomorrow. It'll be a trip down memory lane for me as well, inshallah. So it's definitely one that I'm looking forward to. Um, one that I know will be quite nostalgic for myself and other members of the Jamaat as well. So home is home, Tabi. Home is home. Man. And I should tell you, uh, he doesn't have to get into a car to get to that particular masjid. <laughs> it's just a, a walk a walk by, I mean, yes, just mere around. seconds and he's in a mosque. So I've okay. been there at his home and it will be, I wish you a very wonderful experience with your Jamaat tomorrow, inshallah. I mean, my, my, imam is, my imam is 82 years old and we'll get a chance to chat with him uh, tomorrow, inshallah. He has been serving for years and years, but more of that tomorrow, inshallah. Till then, do remember to subscribe to our channel on YouTube, Fuzz Events and Entertainment. You can check Impressions Studio as well on YouTube. Follow us on the digital media feeds. Check us on Facebook, on Instagram, and very okay. soon, 103. Uh, very soon, uh, you can also check 103fm.tt for these episodes uh, that are being posted on their website. And soon enough, as well, inshallah, you can check fuzzeent.com uh, for more wonderful, inspirational, and educational content. Thank you again for tuning in to episode 17 of Iftar Insights. Till tomorrow, assalamualaikum.